Thank you for joining us today. My name is Brandi Dunn and I work at Collins Aerospace located in Troy, Ohio. Myself, along with some of my colleagues, will be sharing some information about Collins and the types of careers offered here. Collins Aerospace is a leader in technologically advanced intelligent solutions that help to redefine the aerospace and defense industry. We are one of the world's largest providers of aerospace systems for commercial aircraft and partner with nearly every business jet manufacturer in the world to elevate the aviation experience. We deliver a broad spectrum of advanced battle proven solutions that serve the warfighters of today and tomorrow and our intelligent military and defense solutions help our customers complete their missions safely, efficiently, and effectively. Collins Aerospace has over 68,000 employees across 300 plus sites globally, with almost 700 employees located here in Troy. We have over 15,000 engineers and have invested $3.7 billion in research and development. With a comprehensive portfolio, extensive capabilities, and broad expertise, we're dedicated to solving our customers' toughest challenges and meeting the demands of the global market. Formed to meet customer needs and represent the best in innovation, technology, and expertise, Collins Aerospace consists of several strategic business units. As part of the mechanical systems business unit, our Troy facility specializes in aircraft landing systems products, specifically wheels and brakes. I'll now pass it to Cynthia, who will tell us about how our products are designed. Yeah, thanks, Brandy. Uh, so hello, everyone. My name is Cynthia Leeton, and I'm a senior at structures engineer here within Collins Aerospace. I've been with the company for about four years now, and I've held multiple positions here within our Troy, Ohio facility rotating through various engineering functions, including sustaining and project engineering, manufacturing engineering, and most recently, structures engineering. As Brandy mentioned, here at the Troy Ohio facility, we are the headquarters of landing systems, but we specialize in the design, test, and manufacture of aircraft wheels and brakes, as well as the design of aircraft brake control systems. Uh, here I provided a rendering of one of our products, specifically for an aircraft many of you have likely flown on, the Boeing 737, uh, with some cutouts just to show you some of the various components and intricacies of the product that we design. Uh, so we are unique here within our Troy Engineering uh, as we support the full product life cycle uh, all within our one facility. We have project engineering teams who support our new product introduction efforts for new aircraft and pulling together all the appropriate teams and information needed to qualify and introduce these products into service. Our analytical technology team, such as dynamics and thermal structures, materials and process technology, provide the, basically the design analysis, material selection, and simulation efforts for our new and aftermarket products. We have an amazing test lab facility uh, with large dy dynamometers, which are able to replicate the inertial energy of the aircraft for us to test our designs in-house, as well as environmental chambers to push our products to the extreme and ensure safety in extremely cold temperatures. So there is a lot of very cool equipment uh, that we have down there and we engineers like to play with, but we also have a large engineering team uh, that is there to support the equipment's upkeep and upgrades. As I mentioned, uh, we support the full product life cycle, which means we have engineers dedicated solely to supporting our fielded products, uh, which include our sustaining and customer support engineering teams. Our sustaining engineering teams get involved with long-term challenges on our products. So they work on taking costs out of our design, supporting manufacturing and challenges they might have there, and even supporting supply chain if there are any uh, you know, suppliers that we might want to use or changes to the materials. Our customer support engineering team is unique where they actually work directly with our airlines and support those customers on a more day-to-day -day basis as issues might arise. They conduct many hardware investigations on failures and product performance issues that might have been experienced in service and perform root cause investigations to determine what happened. Of course, we have engineers out on our shop floor as well, supporting our operations team and introducing new technologies and machines, designing tooling to make our parts, as well as executing continuous improvement strategies to make our operations as efficient as possible. Lastly here, I'll also mention that we are responsible for the design of aircraft brake control systems. And we have a few different groups who support those efforts. These groups support a wide range of activities, such as developing and tuning our brake control algorithm, 
uh, creating the brake control system architecture, uh, working with suppliers to design smaller components, and even supporting our fielded systems products and service, such as our electric aircraft brake equipment. All this to say is there's a lot of amazing opportunities here within our facility, a, a lot of room to grow and develop your career. So to be eligible for these type of roles, an engineering degree is typically required to teach you all of the fundamentals on how to design and analyze these products. And most importantly, how to solve problems, which is really the core of what we do. Our engineering group primarily consists of mechanical, aerospace, electrical systems, and materials undergraduate, graduate, and PhD engineering majors. So I'm gonna turn it over here now to Libby to, to talk about supply chain. Thank you, Cynthia. Hi, my name is Libby Swearingen. I'm the senior manager at um, Collins for Troy, and we handle everything you can imagine in the supply chain world. So supply chain management by de definition, um, APIX, which is the Global Association for Supply Chain Management Professionals, defines supply chain management as the design, planning, execution, control, monitoring of supply chain activities with the objective of creating net value, building a competitive infrastructure, leveraging worldwide logistics, synchronizing supply with demand, and measuring performance globally. So what does that mean? That really means that we bring in materials to support many of our functions within the Troy facility. As a little, as, um, a little background on myself, I have been with the company um, for about six years. I've had various roles within supply chain, including um, commodity manager and a senior commodity manager and then eventually getting into leadership and being a senior manager over the procurement team. So procurement is, um, handles the purchasing and delivery assurance of our parts, and that's uh, making sure that our, our supply aligns with our demand. So operations will give us a signal and let us know that they need certain parts in at a certain time, and my team is um, responsible for making sure that that happens, that we have the parts when we need them to build the product on time. Commodity management manages contract negotiations and sourcing. The commodity managers are responsible for sourcing our various products, including raw materials, machine parts, electronics, and any indirect commodities. Our supplier development engineering team works with suppliers to resolve issues with producibility and capacity to ensure suppliers can continue to produce our parts on time. Our leadership team is responsible for all of the metrics that go along with the supply chain and making sure that we have supply chain covered throughout the process. Johan? Uh, hello, my name is Johan Rosario and I'm the value stream leader at Collins Aerospace in Troy, Ohio. I've been with the company seven years, rotating through several engineering roles and program management roles within the company. Uh, and then the value stream leader, I have direct accountability for the overall success of the aircraft willow rate programs over the full product life cycle. You know, ensuring that requirements and contract terms are met, ensuring our business targets are met, and most importantly, ensuring that our customers are satisfied. What's amazing about the value stream leader organization is that we work with every part of the organization, ensuring everyone is connected and finding the best solution for the customer by navigating this interconnected web. As a VSL, we lead the integrated project teams on a day-to-day -day basis, including engineering, operations, supply chain, quality, finance, aftermarket, and contracts, bringing new and exciting challenges every single day. In addition, we get to work directly with companies and organizations, some that you might recognize, such as Boeing, Airbus, and the U.S. Air Force, to find aircraft solutions, support their initiatives, and even participate in some incredible flight test demonstrations. It really makes us proud to witness an aircraft take off and land with our equipment. And well, how do you get here? You know, I chose the engineering path to get to the value stream leadership and others choose finance, operations, supply chain, and even other functions. In Troy, we have employees with undergraduate and graduate degrees in several technical and business fields, including engineering, accounting, finance, business administration, and law. And together, all these functions and all this talent, they come together to develop superior product and deliver superior customer service. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to explore available career options by visiting jobs.collinsaerospace.com.